Okay, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at adding decals through Flamingo. Decals are kind of a neat option that Flamingo provides. It allows us to create uh, images or replace images onto the surface of various objects. Flamingo gives us a few different options of doing this, uh, and the ones that we're going to focus on are planar and cylindrical. Planar obviously being that you are able to apply an image to a flat surface. Cylindrical uh, meaning that we could place the image onto a, something like a Coke can or in this case the mug that's within our scene. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to add some images to the box of toothpaste. So what I'd like you to do is pull up your properties panel. If you don't already have it open, remember that's F3. F3, if I close this properties panel and hit F3, it'll bring it back. And I'm gonna select the toothpaste box by clicking right here on it. And it uh, will show yellow to, to indicate that I've selected that box. Now you'll notice over here in the properties panel that you've got a few different options. We've used the material one already. But we're going to choose decals this time. So I'm going to go ahead and click decals. And the menu system will change here, show you a large window. And at the bottom, gives us a few different boxes to select from. The only one that's available right now is add. So we're going to go ahead and click add. And we're going to start with the minty green box upper JPEG. So the minty green box upper right here. I'm going to click on that and say open. Okay, now it's going to ask me what kind of mapping style. And again, there's a few different options here. Uh, in this case, we're using planar because it is a flat surface. So I'll choose OK. And it wants me now to indicate where I want this to sit. And I'm going to go ahead and maximize the perspective view just so I can see this a little better. You have to be really careful about making sure that you pick the right points. If I zoom in here close, and just orbit a little bit, you'll notice that with the wireframe model, it's showing me two different corners here. I need to make sure that I click on the outside corner. So, uh, and it's gonna ask me to place three points. Um, the first point would be kind of the center of the decal or the, the zero or origin of the decal, uh, which is gonna be right here. So I'll click there with my end point O snap. And then the second point, to zoom out and I'm going to move over to this end. And again, make sure you get the outside corner. That's the second point. And then the third point is up here on the top of it. And so I'll click up there. Now you'll notice that once you've placed this, that the outline shows of the image. And that outline currently is off of the um, box a little bit. It is the, the control points don't line up. So we need to adjust the control points, these little white squares, so that they match up with uh, the box itself. And in this case, you'll want to make sure that your uh, perpendicular is on. And I'm going to come and grab that control point and bring it in and have it snap right to the top of the box there. And then click again. And now I've adjusted that image. So, image is placed. You can either hit enter or right click and your edit decal window will pop up. In this case, there's nothing that we need to do to this decal. So I'm just gonna click OK and the decal's been placed. Now just to see it, it's always good to go back and check. I'm gonna go ahead and go ray trace and render. And once it's done rendering, you'll notice that you do indeed have an image there on the box that says minty green toothpaste. Go ahead and close that. And they also have a, an image for the side over here. So I'll go ahead and click add again. And in this case, I want the minty green box side. Open that. It is again planar. And again, I gotta make sure that I get the outside corners. So the first corner is the bottom left corner. The second corner is the bottom right corner. And the third corner is the top left corner. Need a little adjustment of the control points once again. I'll grab this control point, have it come down. This time it looks like it's giving me the intersection. There's perpendicular. 
So I'll click on that, place that, right click or enter, and just click OK. OK, so I've placed the two image images on the top and the side of the box. I'd like to move to this end flap down here. So I'm going to click on that to activate that. I'll click Add again. And this is the minty green box side. No, it's not. End. OK, minty green box end. I'll click Open. Again, planar. And I'm going to start with this corner here. This will be my second corner. And then this will be the third corner. And again, grab the control point and drag it in. Right click. Everything looks good. Click OK. Now let's uh, render that because just in case we put it in the wrong direction. And that happens and sometimes you got to delete it and come back. And it looks like I've got a white flap here, uh, a white piece on that. So probably need to redo that. It's also backwards. So I'm going to delete that and redo the placement. So I'll add again the end piece. Click open, planar. And this time I'm going to go from this corner and see if this is the right corner to use. Control point. Right click. Click OK. Let's see if that worked for us. Okay, well the text is going the right direction. I still have a little bit of a white strip there, but I'm gonna be okay with that. I wanna move on. The next part is this flap down here, and then also the side flaps. Uh, I'll show you the end flap because this in, uh, uses a, a different style uh, of editing for the decal. That's called masking. So I'm going to click on that end flap. I'll click add. And in this case, I want to use the top flap. And then click open. And again, it's always a little confusing as far as which corners to use, but I think I'm going to start in the bottom left, go to bottom right, go to top left. And then I'll right click. And you'll notice this masking option here. I can choose the pull down and choose color. I can use the eyedropper to select the green, which is really already selected here, and then I want to enter transparent. So what this will do is wherever that green is in this image, it will show as black, uh, or it will show as transparent when we render this. And so it will look like that flap actually has those filleted or curved edges. I'll click OK, and let's go ahead and see if we have it facing the right direction. And it looks like it is. So it's got that rounded edge now rather than being squared off like it shows here in the wireframe. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add it to the tube of toothpaste. And even though this is still a rounded surface, we're going to treat it as a planar object. Uh, and you'll notice that they have these magenta lines here to help us do that. So I'm going to click on the tube, I'm going to choose add, and we're looking at the minty green tube. I'll choose that and click open. Again we're going to use planar. I'll click OK. And the first corner is here, the second corner is here, and the third corner, make sure you get that magenta box there, is there. And it seems to fit just fine. No need to adjust the control points. Right click, and I don't need to do any masking in this case, so I'll click OK. And just to see that, I'm going to go ahead and render that just to see the tube with the decal on that as well. 
So don't forget also, by the way, that, that you need to add those side flaps um, as part of the box. That's very similar to the end flap that we did here using the masking, so don't forget to add those as well. All right, the final thing that I want to apply a decal to is the mug. So I'll, ch I'll choose that. And, and in this case, I want to go ahead and go back to my four views because this one's a little bit more of a challenge to get this to apply. I need to see uh, different views to be able to apply this. So I'll go ahead and choose add. And in this case, we're using the sailboat, sailboat-002. And I'll click open. Now, this is not a planar decal style. This is a cylindrical, so I'll choose cylindrical in this case. I'll click OK. So the first thing it wants is to choose the center. And the center, of course, in the top view would right, be right in the middle of this mug. However, I'm going to use elevator mode once again because I don't want the center, the vertical center uh, in the front view to be all the way down here at the bottom, which when I'm here in the top view, it's choosing that point down at the bottom of the mug. So I'm going to hold down the control key and I'll click that center point in the top view and then drag up and I, I don't need to be measuring anything here but I just want to approximate the middle of the mug vertically about halfway up and I'll click. And now from here I'm going to come back and I'm going to look to drag this straight out and again my perpendicular it's not turned on turn it on for your own snap I want to drag it straight out and I want to hit this edge out here on uh, the outside of the mug so I click now what it's doing you'll notice up here in the perspective view that the decal is actually on the back side I need to rotate it around and that's what these grips here are for I can grab this control point on the red small little red axis grab it and slide it around so that it's towards the front. Go ahead and click again to place it. And it looks like it may be a little taller so I can use a grip to bring it down a little bit as well onto the surface. So it's not filling up the entire front of the mug. Okay, so I'm, I've set it the uh, placement and I can right click or hit enter and it brings up the edit decal again. This is another case where we want to use masking. So I'm going to choose color for the masking. I have my eyedropper and I'm going to pick the white. When I do that, it then applies that green color. And again, select transparent and then click OK. So now I should have a decal on the mug. I'll select the ray trace and render. You can see that I've applied that decal to the mug. I'll go ahead and close that and uh, there's also a decal for the floss and you can apply that, that's a planer. And the other thing that they want you to do before you do your final render is to go ahead and turn on all the toothbrush information layers. And you may need to adjust the material for that blister plastic, but uh, we did that yesterday, so you should be able to do that. Render this one more time with all the lights. It looks like the plastic's showing up, so you may not need to worry about that. So again, just to finish this, you want to make sure you uh, add the decals for the small side flaps here, and also for the floss if you don't already have that decal. Um, and once you're done, you do a final render. Go ahead and file, save as. Save this to your H drive as last name mug and save it as a JPEG. And then submit this to Core Sites. So that concludes our look into decals with Flamingo. And uh, once we're done with this exercise, we'll move on to putting this same idea, same thinking rendering lights back to our lightsaber.